the hardest team to ever make in the world, Team USA. And today we're going to be looking at Terrence Larry, the Thing Mo, and Noah Williams to see what are their real chances based on history of making Team USA. Hey, what is going on, y'all? Welcome back to MJP TV, where we put track and field first. I'm MJP. Sorry this video is taking a while. There is a ton of research I had to do for this video behind the scenes, stuff I cut out. But let's not delay any further and get right to the video. Psych! Okay, I swear, last thing before we start. So, this video is going to go over each athlete's personal best, a lot of their main competition in the U.S. that's going to be at the trials, and the history of NCAA athletes in their events. And so, to keep things short, I kept it to all the Olympics from 2000 onward. So, anything, you know, before 2000 is excluded from this list. But let's get right to the video. Okay, first looking at Noah Williams out of LSU. So Noah Williams' personal best for the indoor 400 meters is 44.71, which is number four in the world all time. And right now his outdoor PR is 44.30 in the 400 and is currently number one in the world for the 400 meters. And of course he is an NCAA indoor 400 meter champion. One of his main competitors this year at the trials would definitely be Michael Norman, who is the world indoor record holder in number four all time in the 400 meters, along with Fred Curley, a former NCAA record holder in the 400 meters, and is the number four 400 meter you are a big dummy. runner of all time. There's also Michael Cherry, who's the current number two in the world and a former NCAA champion, along with Bryce Deadman of Texas A&M, and Trevor Stewart and Randolph Ross of North Carolina a &T. So looking at the men's history in the 400 meters at the Olympic trials, in 2000 there was only one NCAA athlete uh, to make the Olympic trials final and he did not make the team. In 2004 there were three athletes and Jeremy Warner actually won the trials being a student at Baylor and won Olympic gold in 44 flat. And then in 2008 there were two uh, NCAA athletes in the trials Zero made the team. 2012, there are actually four athletes from the NCAA that made the final in the trials. Two of the athletes, Tony McQuay and Bryson Nelm, actually made the team, but did not make the Olympic 400 meter final. And then in 2016, there were two NCAA athletes in the Olympic trials final, and Zero made the team. FYI, if you want my final verdict on any of these athletes, make sure to stick around to the end of the video where I will give my synopsis and my thoughts on what their chances are of making Team USA. Okay, next we'll be looking at a thing Mo and analyzing her personal best chances and all that in the 800 meters and the 400 meters because she is elite in both. So looking at her personal best, she is an NCAA indoor 800 meter record holder in the time of 158.4, as well as the NCAA outdoor 800 meter record holder in 157.73 and is currently number one in the world in the 800 meters. And so in the 400 meters outdoors, she runs 49.84, which is number three in NCAA history. And in the indoor 400, her personal best of 50.52 is number four in NCAA history and is currently number four in the world in the 400 meters. So looking at the thing's main competition in the USA for the 400 meters, there is Shamir Little, who is currently number five in the world in the 400, Quanera Hayes, who is currently number six in the world for the 400, and Lena Irby, who is currently number seven in the world in the 400 meters, along with other Americans, Kendall Ellis, Jessica Beard, and Allison Felix. In the 800 meters in the USA, her main competition at the trials will definitely be Ajay Wilson, who is currently number six in the world in the 800 meters, and is a two-time bronze medalist at the World Championships, along with Raven Rogers, who is currently number 10 in the world in the 800 meters, a former NCAA champion and the silver medalist at the 2019 Doha World Championships. Other USA competitions, such as Ali Wilson, Heather McLean and Kate Grace will definitely make up for a great field at the trials. In 2000, one NCAA athlete made the finals but did not make Team USA. 2004, two NCAA athletes actually made the finals in the trials and Didi Trotter made the team in the 400 and actually got fifth in the Olympic 400 meter final. In 2008, no NCAA athletes made the Olympic trial finals and of course, then none of them made Team USA. In 2012, much of the same one made the final, but none made Team USA. 2016, 
None made the final, none made Team USA. Okay, now looking at the 800 meters, in 2000, no NCAA athletes made the final, and of course, none of them made Team USA. In 2004, there are actually two NCAA athletes in the final, but they did not make Team USA. In 2008, there were four NCAA athletes, but none of them could crack the top three and get on the team. 2012, none made the final, so none made the team. In 2016, one NCAA athlete made the final, but they did not make Team USA. Okay, last and certainly not least, let's take a look at Terrence Lariat of LSU. And looking at his personal best, uh, his win dated best in the 100 meters is 9.80, which he just ran at the SEC Championships. But his legal 100 meter time is 10.06. And so for the purposes of this video, we're going to be looking at the 200 where he has the best chance to make uh, Team USA. So for the 200 meters indoors, he is number eight all time running 20.20 at this year's indoors NCAA championships. And for the 200 meters outdoors, he has a personal best of 19.81, which is number three in NCAA history and is currently the number one time in the world. Looking at his main competition in the USA, Noah Lyles is the first person that comes to mind. He is the current 200 meter world champion, the number four 200 meter runner of all time with a personal best of 19.5 and is currently world number three. Ken Bidnerick is also another USA athlete who is currently number four in the world in the 200 meter and is the number four fastest collegiate athlete of all time in the 200 meters. Other notable 200 meter runners in the USA to look out for, Joseph Fombele, Matthew Bowling, and Lance Lang, all coming out of the SEC. So looking at the history of NCAA athletes in the men's 200 meters at the Olympics and the trials for Team USA, in 2000 there was one NCAA athlete in the final but they did not make Team USA. In 2004 there was one NCAA athlete in the Olympic trials finals but they did not make the team. This was actually Tyson Gay and he actually pulled up in the final. And so in 2008, there were actually three NCAA athletes who made the final. And Walter Dix won the Olympic trials and was actually injured for a portion of the NCAA season, which actually could have helped him make Team USA by giving him that rest time and time to get stronger. And actually got fourth in the 2008 200 meter Olympic finals. So what are my thoughts surrounding these three athletes and their chances of making Team USA? Well, heaven to the yeah, they're going to make the team. But uh, I would definitely say it's going to be a huge challenge for them, especially knowing that they have such little rest time in between the NCAA championships and the Olympic trials. But the way they've been running this year, the times they've been putting down, I have no doubt that all three of these athletes can make Team USA. And make sure to leave in the comment section below, what do you think are the chances of these three athletes making it to Team USA this year at the 2021 USA Olympic trials. I'd love to know. Let's start a good discussion down in the comments. I just want to thank you guys for your patience. You know, this video did take me a while to make and research, uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I had a good time researching and making it, but y'all take care. God bless.